Shalawan family and Shaman Eliah. Thank you for joining me at Unsectarian Wisdom. And as usual, I'm a wise, wealthy, rich, celestial being that is loved by the Most High Creator. Let's get it, family. All right, family, we're jumping into chapter 16, The Lands of the Clones. All right, the second earth, second earth lands of the clones. This, this uh, already kind of gives me um, thought process, you know, the show Battlestar Galactica, or at least the newer Battlestar Galactica, not the first one, but the newer one. Well, not new anymore. It's like early 2000s, mid 2000s came out, but that, um, that show brings me to thought process of this, of the land of the clones, because I remember in the show, there was a planet of a bunch of Cylons that looked like humans apparently back in the day until they destroyed themselves but anyway just an interesting thought once again the similarity between a lot of what we've been reading on my channel so far and like sci-fi movies and adventure movies and things of that nature anyway so chapter 16 the lands of the clones this is indeed a very strange earth it was created as a totally experimental first mars earth although it was not used for a long time until they transferred the idea to the Mars Earth. Hold on, I'm going to read that again. This is indeed a very strange Earth. It was created as a totally experimental first Mars Earth. Okay. Although it was not used for a long time until they transferred the idea to the Mars Earth. The first to penetrate this circuit, the first to penetrate this circle environment were the Anunnaki finding only life in a very early stage of development. It was immediately used to transport some of the then dominant races to create an experimental site for conflict resolution and inter-race development. But this, but this did not prosper and it was almost destroyed. Then it was used as cloning lands to save lives of important leaders of the different races. For that reason, it has that characteristic name. There was an escape of beings that were used for cloning that had to be chased. Hold on. There was an escape of beings that were used for cloning that had to be chased in order not to generate great commotion in the different worlds. This also happened with human beings who were used for cloning, who escaped from there. These beings were robotic and lacked any feeling or empathy. No doubt, all this was another aberration of the parasites. You know what comes to mind again, family? The movie The Island with Hugh and McGregor? That comes to mind. Um, also, Stargate, as usual. Um, the the race from Stargate, or Stargate Atlantis. The, um, the replicants. That reminds me of this, um, how basically they don't really have any emotion. And then once again, like I was saying, the island, the movie with Ewan McGregor about the movie about how people make an island for people's body. Just basically, it's a it's it's a facility with clones in it that were paid for by rich people. So if they ever have a disease, they can kill the clone and take the uh, organs. So that movie comes to mind. This experimental land today is completely abandoned. They are one of the many forgotten lands that someday maybe someone can reuse. This experimental land today is completely abandoned. They are one of the many forgotten lands that someday maybe someone can reuse. The Pleiadians also have these lands in view to make a massive relocation. But the truth is that it is not known what can be found there since the large laboratories were abandoned overnight. Okay, there you go. So apparently, once again, family, we got lands out there that we can still use, you know, full of life and vegetation. Or who knows, maybe those other creatures have ascended by now. They were there and, you know, maybe they ruled in that. Who knows how it looks now? Because who knows how old this information is supposed to be? Um, what else? But that's pretty interesting, though, to, to know that there's a whole land of resources, once again, out there that's just ripe for the taking, ready for somebody to come use. Huh. Anyway, chapter 7, okay. Next will be chapter 17, the reptilians. Okay. The celestial, okay. And
Okay, we're almost okay, family. Well, we've always come up to the end. I know the books I bought don't have information on all the lands, but I guess they speak about the most important. So the next chapters, um, I mean, we got, um, yeah, so I guess, yeah, I think that's the last chapter, family, as far as specifically on lands. And then now we'll be getting more into in depth stories, I guess. Okay. All right, family. Well, with that said, I'm your man, Eliah. And as usual, thank you for joining me in sectarian wisdom. And I'm a wise, wealthy, rich, celestial being that is loved by the Most High Creator. We got it, family. I'll catch you later, all right? Be blessed, everybody.